to light a pyre in this weather. Ah! This drink for its nearly night. Come on. There must be order. Oh! Ah. Kind in, no regret proper. Interested in books? You don't look the For a few rounds of Gwent.
this we're all ready to be. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. Welcome, Master Witcher. Saw the notice. Let's say I'm interested. That's good. Grand even. Name's Breen Hotch. I posted that slip. Gonna need details. Course, course. Well, through a series of regrettable events, I came to own a spread of forest ripe for logging near Novigrad. At a distance from any roads, but quite near the port. Easy gold, right? Just hire some lumberjacks and count the coin. Meant details about the monster, not your business. Oh, it's all linked, see? I took on some dwarven loggers, but they came to me, claiming the forest haunted. Thought them lazy, nothing more. Then one day, they went in the wood, and only one returned. Said some forest devil had attacked them.
Let's talk about my pay, because the current offer is just not enough. Very well. Let us say that's a price I'll pay willingly. I'll take the job. This logger, where'll I find him? Around. Last I saw him, he was drinking away his pay. Welcome. Well... What have you got there? So long. What's going on there? One drop all I had. Oh. Welcome, traveler. Drink with me, you cocksucker. Fucking knock back a few so as my mates will race peaceful. Something plowed them up good, but I don't know what it was. Don't know who or what to curse. Talked to one Breen Hotch. Told me all about your comrade's death. No blicker. We tried to explain some horror was prowling the forest. He refused to believe it. He's hired me. Wants me to find the beast that attacked you and your friends. Is that so? Well, I take back what he said. Good man, Breen. Though a half. Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? We were making our way out of the forest, loaded with wood like pack horses. All of a sudden, we heard a bloody howl, like a wolf's pack leaders. We legged it, but then the cartwheel got stuck. Magnus Rector hollered that he should run to the hut for the crossbows, so I ran, come back to the woods. Bloody plowing massacre. Couldn't tell me mates apart. Thanks. Really helpful, that. Kill the bugger. Will you?
Ranger's hut. Need to find the spot where they died. Deep ruts. Logger's wagon must have stopped here. Then they went down this road, probably towards their clearing. There's a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. Wounded dwarf tried to flee, bleeding heavily. A dwarf went this way. Roots pinned this one to the ground, so hard he suffocated. Clawed the rock. Must have been angry and strong. Deep wound on his back. Bled to death. Everything says Leshen, a young one. Must have arrived here recently. Need to find its totem. Crows serve lessons. Should find some near the totem. Not a lessons, birds. False trail. looks like. No sign of a totem. Not a lessons, birds. False trail. Lo and behold, a lessons totem. Destroy it. Want to piss it off, make it leave its lair.
gonna make me wait. Welcome, Master Witcher. I killed the Leshen that attacked the Lumberjacks. Oh, that's wonderful. Grand even. I'll have to find some new loggers, but there's no shortage of folk looking for work. But can I be certain no other Leshen will show? It's possible, I suppose. I have to find a Witcher if it happens. Aye, yes, yes. Well, your due reward. I'm not the kind not to pay for a job well done. Farewell. What? Got anything interesting?
farewell. Long live Maybe I should say my name's <laughs> <laughs>
a specimen. Weather can't be far. Mark. All that's left of the body. Ericus, a venomous one.
Ericus, a venomous one. Ericus, a venomous one.
ever heard of preventive arts moving? Faster. Not so fast, Roach. Greetings. I have bad news. An Eric has killed your brother. If it's any comfort, I avenged him. Comfort? Of course it's no comfort. When I told Mickle. Why are you so eager to help strangers? Sit your arse down, or there'll be misfortune. Well, why are you still standing there? Can't get your fill of others' misfortune? No, I prefer porridge and gravy like everybody else. Pay me and I'll go buy some. I'd have paid you if you brought Mickle back alive. Do a reward. Give me some coin. A reward? Oi. You're Jew. Here. I ever have a son? Look to me like a fierce fit. I'm ready to fight. One and all, the witch will face Smithy. He'll pound his. Oh, how long are you gonna make me wait? Not bad. Might be champion yet. If you're aiming to be champion of Velen, you've two still to beat. Yeah. Like you so got south last night, beat too. Beat you once a week. We're off. Where you think you're going, Mucker? Why do you even care? You're in the military operation zone, and our job's to collect the war tax. Look more like you're collecting for a round of vodka to me. I wonder I do. Will you be that cheeky when we accuse you of spying? Now shut your trap and pay. Not about to give you a copper. Told you he was a spy. We're gonna arrest you in the name of good King Radovid. You can always try. What's going on here? Reporting the capture of a suspicious individual, sir. A spy. A witcher'd make as good a spy as you'd make a chaperone. I catch you extorting coin again, you'll go straight to the front. The Eastern Front. And you, witcher, best give these parts a wide berth. Thanks. Farewell. Watch your step. Fuck. 
Ah. You do know how a witch hunt is Well, What can I get you, good sir? I've everything from apples to zander. A paper, please. Choked to death on three pounds. The sooner our plants beat the black ones, the sooner they have come on. <coughs> Travel through the hills to the east to the south. Everyone to me! To me! <laughs> Greetings again. So. Show me where you haven't stopped. So long. Flame will burn away our sins. Lingering like flies round shit instead of doing some honest work. Here. Radovid was late with our pay a whole week. He's trying to cheat us too. You post the notice? I did indeed. Hands of Sidaris, mercenary captain. Know of a monster that needs slaying. You interested? <laughs> what kind of monster are we talking about? If only I knew. It was like this. Got Radovid to hire me and my company, but he's been late with the pay the last weeks. And I'll be damned if we're to risk our lives for free, like hell. Couldn't agree more. But you were going to tell me about the monster. Yes, yes. We arrived here, encamped. Then it turned out some beast prowls the area. Snatches cows and the like. 
Reckoned we should help the local boys, so we grabbed our weapons and set out. Me and Kurt one way, Gerd and Henk the other. Gerd and Henk never returned. Whatever it was, it got him. Jobs for a professional, clearly. So Kurt and me, we chipped in for a small reward, hoping someone's willing to help the locals avenge our comrades in the process. Awfully noble of you. Yeah. Mercenaries, we've our honor too. Well, Master Witcher, what will it be? Will you take the job? All right. Where do I start looking? South of here. It's where we split up. It's where... Lost, worse it gets. Radovid was late with our pay a whole week. He's trying to cheat us too. Purse I got was full of counterfeit crowns. second body in its claws. Didn't quite get everything to its nest. Piece by piece, follow the thread. Probably. All I gotta do is follow the calling. Thin rakeides. Sparse after feathers. Interesting. An arch griffin.
chest empty except for leftovers. Well, well, they took on this contract before I did. Got the reward up front, more than they're paying me. Show me what you got. Radovid was late to our party all week. He's trying to cheat us too. Purse I got. Well, any progress? The monster's dead. I slew it. It was a griffin. An arch-griffin, in fact. In that case, I'm grateful. Arch-grateful. Your reward. Hold up a minute. Recognize this? 
You accepted a contract, reward paid up front, and higher than what you paid me. What am I meant to do? Business is what it is, and intermediaries deserve their due. What you're due is a punch in the face. Gold, now. Some advice before you go. Don't ever try to cheat a Witcher again. Ever. It's worse it gets. Radovid was late with our pay a whole week. He's trying to cheat us too. The purse I got was full of counterfeit crowns. Bronze with just a lick of gold on it. Means the Redanian coffers are near empty. Might be time to cross the ponds now. See if there's any work for us there. Radovid was late with our pay a whole week. He's trying to cheat us too. The purse I got was full of counterfeit crowns. Look at here. Bronze with just a lick of gold on it. Means the Redanian coffers are near empty. Yeah. Might be time to cross the pontar. Here you are. See if there's any work for us there. and they'll clap you in the stocks. Anyone there? You can come out. It's safe now. Ah, a witcher. What happened? No guardians came plundering, looking for valuables, as if we was rich. Who killed them? Couldn't have been you. Uh, I don't know. Must have been those beasts you slaughtered. Something stinks, and I don't mean the corpses. That's how it was. I dwell on it.
You're hiding something. Gonna find out what it is. There's not here. Black ones didn't even find anything. Out of my way. Wasn't a fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. to the ground with great force, internal hemorrhaging. Jaws strong enough to crush armor, scent of blood still strong, ought to follow it. There's nothing there. Tracks lead to this house. What happened here? What do you mean, what happened? Last chance. What happened to the Nilfgaardians? What's behind that door? What do I know? Listen, you. If you don't tell me everything you know, you could all die. Understand? Is that a burden you can live with? There's tunnels beneath the village. Tunnels? Elven ruins. We scavenge them for trinkets, small treasures. Sell them to Novigrad merchants. No one expected anything bad to come of it. We dug through some rubble. Found a chamber. A beast slept inside. We felled the prop so the ceiling had collapsed. Didn't bury the monster, though. What did the monster look like? It were dark down below. Couldn't see. So how'd it kill the North Guardians? I ran. Couldn't watch it happen. Give me the key to the door. You'd go in. No. Wanna pour wax through its head, tell you your fortune. Now give me the key. So, correct me if I'm wrong. You dug through to the monster's lair, then buried the entrance, but the Nilfgaardians opened it again to look for treasure. Beast killed the Black Ones and returned to its lair. You wanted to bury the corpses, but their stench lured ghouls to the village. Now I'm here. Sound about right? Tis as you say. Yes. I'm going down there. If I'm gone long, run. Barring the door, nailing it shut resolves nothing. There are other ways out of the tunnels. Gotta be. Fur shreds. An Ekimara. Hibernated here till the villagers woke it.
gods. He lives. Found an Ekimara hibernating underground. It was old. Must have been asleep for centuries. An Ekimara? Vampire. Won't trouble you again. You cut off its head, drive a stake through its heart. Did what I had to. Don't go down into those tunnels anymore. Ekimara aren't known to be loners. We didn't hire you. Still, seems you deserve a... You bet I do. Pay up. Farewell. some. around some.
around some. Come on.
Faster. Master.
Go, go. Piss off or you still got legs. And bollocks. Don't let him catch his breath! Can I be of Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You come to them. This murderer is a demon sent by vengeful mages. Rumors, rumors, rumors. Top notch swords. Master crafted armor. Think you could make me some? Ooh, I did get my journeyman's papers, but I've yet to make anything akin to a masterwork. You might try in Velen. A dwarf there goes by a foot. Guildsman claim there's no one better. So... Uh-huh. What do you want? Uh, what do you want? Uh-huh. Eternal glow guide you. Why buy tomorrow what you can buy today? More cautious than I thought. Can't get too close. Come one, come all. <laughs> some armor.
so long. not burn those pyres beyond the city walls. Why the hell are you following me? Just happen to be going where you're going. And how the bloody hell do you know where I'm going? Never said I knew where you were going. Just think we're going in the same direction. Then you best change yours. Bloody easy. Cheated me. Band of thieves. What village are you from? Willows. It's into my area what two days right to be our lot. Your god arrived here just before winter. Nosy bugger. Hmm? Yeah, terrible trait. Poking around where I probably shouldn't be, I know. But I gotta find the Putrid Grove. That's a secret place for secret folk doing secret business. And who's to say you're any good at keeping a secret? No one. Grab him! Smash the bugger! This is... Ah, fucking come on! Yeah. Take your wall on! Come on, come closer. That's it, you're in for it! Damn. Son of a whore! Stop! Enough! I was just following orders. Got a simple question. You're gonna give me a simple answer. 
Where's the putrid grove? In... in Lysol's. Down an alley. Man, guarding the gate. Gotta give him the password. What is the password? Old sows, farrowed piglets. See, just gotta make the effort. Yeah? Why did Exile have to be our lot? Help a poor fellow out. Go on. Me? Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. Right. Right. Drink. <laughs> Clear right thing. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Listen, would you craft something for me? So long. Officially, they're tremendous. Unofficially, they're now you know. Not to the end. Fucking hey, oars. We've no monsters. Open up. Who are you and what do you want? Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. My brother in law was curious. Worms been eating him for five years now. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes, pair of swords, mutated killer methods. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Now the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Oh, 
old sow's farrowed piglets. Ah. Huh. Welcome to the grove, brother. What is it, Grey what Boy? Looking for adventure? Shut up, Ask Munch. Geralt of Rivia in the flesh. Thank you, my lord. The right miracle you've worked, I'd like to repay you. Convince those knaves huh? on the city council that spells are not needed on a whim, but look positively indispensable. Oh, Legend cannot be killed. You see it in the face. Please convey that if any of them should fall ill, he can stick his head in the flames of the eternal Good. More and more people come to our secret clinics looking for help. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atreus. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding river fish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cosy little hideout, wouldn't you say? Temple Guard tolerate your little operation? Let's say they appreciate the value of a Novigrad crown. Hmm. Manga doesn't seem like the type that can be bought. Anyone can be bought. But like is true, Manga had cost me a fortune. Luckily, he's got officers, and they're mere mortals. Illnesses catch him at times. Other times, they want to catch a bit of diversion. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. You face the temple guard and witch hunters armed to the teeth, and all you've got's a gang of tramps and a handful of mages. I wouldn't bet a single crown on you. Nor would I. Not at the moment. But war shuffles the deck. In wartime, folks start to understand things start to wonder why magic's outlawed, even though it's so damn useful. Folk come to me knowing full well it's forbidden. You know why? Because they fear death by disease more than torture. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you're clearly. Near. 
need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start a new. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? Well... Some causes require a sacrifice. Causes? What about people? For people, same holds true. So, maybe you care to dive in after that sack for me? You win. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heel. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks, nothing. Turned out, he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Clue. There's a draft. Should be an exit. Klug wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. There must be a lever on this wall that'll open a secret path. Free city of Novigrad. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Rad of its reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. 
But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a... Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Menga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? But maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on, six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Help, save me. I'm dying of poverty. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon & Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Don't much like merchants who flatter with cheap praise before the job's done. That was not cheap praise. I was merely stating a fact. So am I. I want you to pay in full in advance. I'm afraid that's impossible. Then trap your own rats. Well, now I know why she brought you along. Fine, a full purse of Novigrad crowns, as proof of my goodwill. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. <laughs> Is. I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices and draw things. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? I don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the...
think I plugged every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Well? Well? Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once, I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. You could be right. But only he knows the truth. We're only ever the ones to know the truth about ourselves. Which we share at times with those we hold dear. Even if it's hard to swallow? Even then. Who knows? Maybe one day. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Not bad. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. If these boys are here to help us kill rats, they're late. You paid up front and got what you paid for. Not half a rodent left in the granary. I paid in advance because I knew I'd recover my coin. Such is life for sorceresses in Novigrad these days. I can see that and I don't like it. So here's what I think. The hunters have come, and now they can go. They'll do no such thing. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. <laughs> Fine. Your coin. Now, get. 
Thanks, Geralt. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Ciri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now, before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'll be nice. All right. See you later. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corrine requested she not be disturbed. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, th they vary. Giggling in the night, and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the park. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The second sword, is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic.
Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Sarah, you might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then- And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these rays. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! See, now I want to do this the nice way, but you just won't let me. What will you do to me, eh? 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 Burdock. Godlings hate the scent. How would you like a whiff? 
You're stupid and a pig. Already dependent on the black holes economically. Salutations. Salutations. Damn. It's clear as the eternal fire. Oh. Watch where you stand. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh, fine, oh. 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 Say we are going to a One to you, young man. Greetings. What do you sell? Herbs, young lad. Not that surprised, actually. Monk's hood for it. Yeah. What else would you recommend? Have a look, young man. You just might have the herbs I need.
take care. It's a rank. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Burn some burdock in the stove. Godling couldn't stand the smell and fled, and Corrine simply awoke. Anyway, house is clean. Excellent. I must admit the experience has put me off the building. I shan't keep it. I'm mindful of the reward I owe you, and you'll receive a sizable commission. As soon as I'm... I'm able to sell the house. Come by from time to time and ask. The, the Yonkiers never break their word once given. Thanks. He's a war veteran. Spare me a crown. Pucker up and kiss my ass. A folk 
in this city. Racial hygiene's as poor as their personal hygiene. You like the bands are slapping the mug to the working man. Lookie, Mr. Fancy Pants. Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? I just came ashore and people are already busy. I've got that twinge of me back again. Ah, no, God. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. You must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then, but already I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy, and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina, couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day. Wearing a dress, and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Siri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. I told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but... Couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. It was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. 
The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy when it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <sighs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left in the Rosemary and Time in their room. The Rosemary and Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri.